With WrestleMania behind us and The Rock saying goodbye to the WWE Universe, but also kind of hinting at he will be back to face Cody Rhodes at some point, I started to wonder where could The Rock be with WWE over this calendar year? When will The Rock come back? Will he come back for the title? Will he come back just for Cody? What about Roman Reigns? So today, let's talk about what the path is for The Rock, because we have a brand new bloodline that has appeared on SmackDown with Tamatanga in there, and they're probably gonna get Jacob Fatu as well, and then he's gonna join into the new bloodline. My guess with all of that stuff is that Jimmy and Jay are gonna team up once again, and we will eventually get that reunion. Roman probably turns face at some point. It kind of leaves me wondering, what are you gonna do with Cody and The Rock? Cody on Monday Night Raw still talked about The Rock as he has already left for the last two weeks, said bye bye and Rock is gonna go off and make his movies, and he will eventually come back. Question mark is when? What capacity? Will he wrestle? Is he just gonna wait till WrestleMania 41 and take on the Tribal Chief in just a one-on-one -on -one match? What's the story? And I think that this is the long-term play, is that they will eventually get to Roman Rock, but I do believe they are going to give us Cody versus Rock one-on-one. -on -one. So how do you do it? There's a couple of different ways, and does The Rock end up winning the undisputed WWE Championship off of Cody Rhodes. To me, I don't really see Cody holding the belt for a year, two years, doing this epic long reign like Roman Reigns did for the last three, four years. We've done that. I personally don't like the really long, excessive title reigns to try and break these records. Roman Reigns did it. It's an epic story, but we're done with that. I like seeing the titles get moved around a little bit. I don't need a hot shot on Monday Night Raw and Cody drops the title, no. But I do feel like Cody could hold the belt for like six months, drop it, and it's okay because Cody is really cool when he is chasing. That's what this whole story has been. And I think it'd be a cool story arc if, for example, The Rock came in and ended up winning the belt at SummerSlam. You could have The Rock versus Cody Rhodes set up for SummerSlam. It's not that far off, so I'm kind of skeptical that they would rush this match and get this program done. Because SummerSlam is in Cleveland and it's only a few months away. It's really not a long turnaround time and I do feel The Rock might come back even later, maybe Survivor Series, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But I think you could end up with a situation of The Rock coming in, and he could just, leading up to SummerSlam, challenge Cody Rhodes one-on-one, -on -one, says that he is back, where he has the backing of Solo, Thomas Honga, and Jacob Fatu. Paul Heyman is mixed in there, and he's going after Cody Rhodes. Meanwhile, if you do it this way, you could also not have Roman Reigns in the picture. Still, he could not make an appearance. This way, you got final boss, The Rock, with this new bloodline that he controls, and there's no sight of Roman Reigns whatsoever. And what you could do is you could have The Rock beat Cody Rhodes at SummerSlam, by having this new evil, like super powered up bloodline with final boss, and they take that title off of Cody Rhodes. And then you could do the old bloodline versus new bloodline with The Rock. In a War Games match, you could end up having The Rock and his new bloodline teaming up to go up against Cody, Jimmy, Jay, and Roman Reigns. And that could be when Roman makes his return in that match, and he's with his family once again. Maybe you could even include Sami Zayn if they want to equal out the numbers and make them even stronger. But that would be an interesting War Games. Also, that means that The Rock could come in last in War Games match so he doesn't have to actually fight, and then he could still retain the belt. Or you could have the faces go over and beat the new final boss's bloodline. If you do all of that, you're going to say, well, what's going to happen to Cody with the belt? Maybe Cody isn't going with the belt at WrestleMania next year. Maybe Cody is going to go off and fight Randy Orton, and maybe they just have a one-on-one -on -one match. You can somehow tell that story through Rumble and to WrestleMania, or maybe Cody does end up getting the title back before WrestleMania from The Rock. Maybe he does it at the Royal Rumble, and then they could move Cody off with somebody like Randy to go have a championship match at Mania. Meanwhile, the big main event could be Rock and Roman. I'm still kind of wondering though, maybe you do want to have the belt on The Rock going after Roman Reigns and then fighting it out. Now, if you do that story thread where The Rock is champion, he wins at SummerSlam, they win or retain or beat the other team at Survivor Series, but you start the story of Roman versus Rock, then you could get all the way to WrestleMania where it is going to be for the Undisputed Championship, but then you could have the new Tribal Chief, the final boss, The Rock, retain at WrestleMania, and he's holding on to that belt. So you can mix it up going forward after that where it is going to be Roman Reigns, Cody, other people coming after the final boss. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily likely because of The Rock's schedule. He can't be around to defend it, but we're so used to Roman not being around to defend any belts. Does it really matter? 
and you could move Cody over to the other belt, or he could still be involved in all of this. The question mark to me is, are they going to have the title involved when it comes to Rock versus Roman? I personally think their feud is bigger than the belt. I don't think it needs it. I think if they did this at WrestleMania 40 for the title, it would have been pretty messy and they didn't and they pivoted into something else and it all kind of worked out the other option you could do is with money in the bank no i don't think that the rock is going to win money in the bank and climb a ladder and do any of that stuff but he is final boss what if you had the bloodline in the money in the bank match what if one two members of the bloodline were actually in money in the bank maybe money in the bank is a mixture of jimmy Jay, Solo, Tamatanga, Randy Orton, LA Knight, not all of the Bloodline members, but some. And then what if Solo Sokoa wins Money in the Bank with the help of maybe a debut of Jacob Fatu and Tamatanga, and they clear everybody else out, and Solo is able to get Money in the Bank. And then the question mark would be, well, is he going to cash in on Cody? Is he going to cash in on Damian Priest, CM Punk, Seth, whoever is the World Heavyweight Champion? What's the plan for the briefcase? That gives a lot of intrigue to the briefcase. What they would do if it's all owned by the Bloodline and they have a guaranteed shot of winning that title. What I can see them doing is if they got money in the bank within the new Bloodline, you could have a really cool moment or do it two ways let's say solo wins money in the bank he could then go up the ramp at the end of money in the bank and the rocks music hits and the final boss comes out and solo hands the money in the bank to the rock and the rock holds up the final boss's money in the bank signifying that they just give it to him they want it on his behalf and then the rock doesn't have to be on TV, like he will be. Doesn't have to promote all that stuff. Doesn't have to promote the Money in the Bank briefcase. He's not gonna walk around town in the airports with it. But it signifies that he can just cash in and get the belt off Cody at any point. And that could be one of the things they do. Then you could have this cash in at the end of SummerSlam or Survivor Series. What if you did do a bloodline civil war thing at Survivor Series, not with The Rock, but with everybody else and a returning Roman Reigns. And you have, let's say, Solo, Jacob Fatu, Tama Tonga, maybe a Jimmy. Maybe Jimmy is reluctant. I know they beat him down and then he's basically kicked out of the bloodline, but maybe he has to stay with them reluctantly. And he doesn't want to. And they lead that story up. And then it's going to be the faces on the other side. What if at the end of a Survivor Series War Games, it all ends, the new bloodline win, they beat all the faces down, and then you get the final boss to just walk out there. You can be in his sweatpants, and the rock comes out, and he just hands the briefcase and cashes in, and then he gives a rock bottom and destroys Cody Rhodes, and he wins the belt that way. That gets maximum heat on the rock, keeps Cody as a huge baby face, then you're going to springboard into the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. And WrestleMania next year is going to be very interesting, and again, that is if we want to have the scenario of the rock holding the belt and then to go to Roman Reigns. But I do think that there's kind of those two options if they want to have the rock win the belt. The other thing they could do as kind of a third option is the Royal Rumble. They could have the rock come out as number 30. He is final boss and the final members in the Royal Rumble could be Roman Reigns. It could be Randy Orton and a few other people, maybe more members of the bloodline. But let's say Roman Reigns did come back and he is a huge baby face and they've geared him to win the Royal Rumble. But what if it's cost by The Rock and The Rock just costs Roman the Rumble shot or eliminates him in the Royal Rumble as number 30? One way or another, you could have The Rock cost Roman Reigns the Rumble and then that way they can get to WrestleMania. So they would have already had shenanigans and everything breaking down from SummerSlam, Survivor Series, and now the Rumble and Roman getting cost. And again, you supremely babyface Roman Reigns with all of this. Then you can get to WrestleMania and they can do a clean one-on-one -on -one match, Final Boss versus Roman Reigns as a huge face. And Cody is doing like Randy Orton as an example for their story for the Undisputed Championship. It all depends also at this time when the draft shakes out and who's going where. But there are a couple of different ways that The Rock could actually win the belt. And I do kind of like the idea of Bloodline almost presenting him a title shot, giving it to him, and The Rock just strolling in as final boss and taking it from everybody. Are they going to mix it up? Is it going to be a three-way? Rock, Roman, Cody at 41. Or are they going to do straight up one-on-one? -on -one? I think the Cody match with The Rock does need to happen. And I think it does need to happen before WrestleMania. Unless they want to do Cody Rock WrestleMania 41 and they save Rock and Roman for 42. There's a lot of possibilities and that's the interesting and fascinating part with all of this. But comment below, how would you book The Rock? How would you book him to win the title? 
Does he even win the title? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed videos like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I'll see you on the next one.